let's ignore this big dog crate right here hey it's jess happy new year it is 2023 this is the first video of 2023 i have been posting shorts on this channel and i've been posting a little bit on instagram as well and on tiktok so if you guys are interested in following me on those platforms it's just the minimal just like here on this channel but i'm super excited to be here i am really going to try my hardest to post once a week on this channel from now on throughout the rest of the year it's like a big challenge for me so um, but I would love to post more on this channel because I absolutely love filming I love creating this content and I love sharing what I learned with you guys sharing my journey whatever form and fashion that may be and I also love to interact with you guys more than anything so I've met some really cool people through this channel and my Instagram page so I want to continue that going into 2023 also um, you know, things have just been, life has been really crazy. I am planning a wedding that's in August. You guys know I got my new job, which is a super fast paced design agency and I love it, um, but it definitely takes away a lot more time that I already didn't have. Um, and then I'm a mom. So there's a lot of things going on in the background that have been not hindering me, but challenging me to figure out how to get it all done. So with that being said, we're here. I'm gonna try to stay here <laughs> um, but anyway today's video is going to be about how I study I have been getting I think since I've started posting about tech and learning how to code I have been getting a lot of questions from you guys about how I study how I take notes do I take notes different things like that so today I thought I would finally sit down and share those things with you guys um, there's some things that I want to preface before we get started though um, which we'll get to in a second but it took me a while to do this. I'm still kind of nervous to do this video because I'm not the best at studying, but I will be sharing with you guys what works for me. So I wanted to preface this video before we get started that I am not the best at studying. I am not the best at like taking notes and things like that. I didn't do it throughout high school. Um, I only did like collectively like a semester of or two of college. So and I definitely wasn't taking notes. So I just wanted to start there and say that it's never too late to start learning something new um, it's also never too late to become a studious person um, I just never applied myself when I was in high school you know elementary and middle school was pretty easy I was on auto road straight A's things like that but then once we started to hit those high school years especially getting to senior year it got really tough for me as far as like staying on top of things I would do my homework and I would do big projects but when it came to studying for a test, I either didn't do it or I was cramming the night before or the morning of right before the class. So just not the most studious person. And I wanted to point that out because I wanted to make it known that if you are like that, you can still do this. You can still find your system and figure out ways to learn. I also wanted to say that this is what works best for me. This is by no means me saying this is the way you should do it. This is not the best way to do it, I'm sure. Um, but this is just what works for me. So hopefully you guys can take some things that I've been doing and learn from that and apply it to what you already have going on or apply it to a new system that you want to create. And the last thing I want to say before we get started is that these things that I figured out are by trial and error. It's taken me a few years to kind of come up with the system that I'm using now and I really only started doing the things that I do now since I started working at my job that I'm currently at um, because I'm always learning so throughout all the courses that I'm taking currently and reading documentation and things like that what I do now has just seemed to work the best for me um, there is definitely room for improvement but this is what I have so far so I just wanted to jump in and share it but just keep all those things in mind Keep an open mind as we go through these things and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to go over are the supplies that I use. Um, I am using a ninth generation base model iPad. I love this case. Um, I got this case on Etsy. It is a big old leopard right here and it's a jungle theme, but it's super classic because it's like super neutral. I love this so much. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is that it's not auto sleep weight, but we, you know, I've gotten used to that, whatever. But this is the ninth gen base model. Up until a few months ago, this was the latest base model that you can get. And I originally had a iPad Air. I had a gold iPad Air, but I did return that because I just could not justify after buying that, buying the accessories, buying the pencil, I couldn't justify taking $800 notes because that's all I use this for. I, I have a digital planner on here that I use for my work planner because it's easier to do it um, digitally. And I also have a notebook in here that I take notes in meetings and you know different things for work that way but I also 
use this for notes um i kind of reference my notion board sometimes but yeah this is all i need i don't need a super expensive ipad um, maybe that'll change if i start to do different things and use different technologies but right now for what i need it for this is more than enough i also have the first generation pencil um i did have a generic pencil before that i got on amazon for 20 something dollars but the only reason i decided to get the real thing is because I was finding it annoying to have to charge the way that I would have to charge I would have to find an actual plug opposed to this just plugging into the iPad itself for actually writing down what I want to study that day I use my personal planner which I will show you guys and go over in another video because that system and that planner deserves its own video I'm super excited for that because I finally found something that I feel like I can stick to do you need an iPad to take notes no you can use traditional pen and paper I was using pen and paper before and I love stationery you guys have heard me talk about stationery and you know all of the things that I've actually done with stationery in the past years but I was just finding that I was buying too many <laughs> notebooks because I was filling them up too much or I was trying to switch out how I was using them and then feeling like I had to go get a whole new notebook to start fresh I was also finding different note-taking systems that I wanted to try and just buying all those notebooks and things it just became very expensive and very just cluttersome and i don't i do not like clutter i like to have a clear space um so yeah it just became too much for me whereas with this i use good notes as my note taking app and i'll show you guys in a second but i feel like this is so much better because i can create delete notebooks whenever i want to i can you know change what kind of paper i'm using i can you know change the system of note taking that i want to use and not feel like i have to go out and buy a whole new notebook because my brain i also would forget what notebooks i was writing in so i would get so many notebooks and write so many different notes and then take a break from learning javascript or whatever it is that i was learning python whatever and then i would jump into another notebook and then forget where i put things have to find things with an ipad you can just do a search within the app that you're using so if i'm using good, good notes and i want to search something about computational thinking or whatever topic if i know that i've written notes on it it should pop up and I should be able to get to it really, really quickly. Also, I can keep things really organized. I have folders within folders and notebooks within those folders. And I'll show you guys an example of what I'm talking about in a second. But everything is super organized. I don't have to go rummage through a drawer or did I put it in this backpack? Did I take it out of that backpack? Did I leave it at work? Everything is here. So again, you don't need an iPad, but <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay so moving on to the note taking system that i use i use the cornell note system and i will quickly show you an example i'm going to put a screen recording here of like how i set this up and like what that is so usually the way that i set mine up i have my three pin selections the colors up here i usually switch to the thickest line and then choose like a fun color here so i like to write on black paper because then i can use all types of bright colors um, but anyway i will put the also don't judge my handwriting but I put the subject up at the top here and then I put the date pretty small down there I would usually change that back to a small you know pin stroke let me change this black to this blue that I use okay over in this section here you can see that there are different lines so you have the top you have this side section on the left you have the bigger section to the right and then there's a bottom section so on the side you're supposed to write like keywords um, or questions what I usually do is write out like different things like definitions almost like if I'm learning about let's say say I was learning about the P tag I would write the letter p and then to the right i would change my color and write whatever content so the p tag is the paragraph tag and so you would just write on the left what you're learning about what the topic is what the keyword is the definition whatever or the vocabulary word and then to the right you would just write out the definition or just whatever information you want to remember about that actual topic moving on to the very bottom this section is supposed to be for summary so after you've written all of your notes over this whole entire page you're supposed to come down here to summarize what all you learn on that specific topic or in that specific sitting um, so that you can kind of glance at the bottom as you're flipping through your note pages like okay I wrote about this in this on this page we learned about this topic in this particular session on this note page um, and you kind of get an overall glimpse of what it is that you wrote down. It also gives you a chance to re, 
visit the things that you learn to kind of summarize them and further ingrain them in your head and it helps to learn the topic a lot better so hopefully that makes sense hopefully you understood that but that is literally the simple system that i use um of course i will put like some different types of like drawings or different things that i need to put in that bigger section as i go but this is the layout you have your subject at the top with the date and then you have on the side there the keywords questions or vocabulary words the bigger space in the middle is for you to fill in things about those keywords to the left and at the bottom is a summary sometimes or for, for the most part here lately, I haven't actually been writing anything down in the summary part because sometimes I find that I'm putting too many topics in, you know, on the page and it's really hard to then summarize all of those different topics, but I'm trying to just fill up the page. It's kind of hard to explain, but um, you can do whatever. You can tweak this however you want. If you want to put the course you're taking at the top and then to the left, you put something else in the middle, you're just doing a whole bunch of diagrams and at the bottom, you just don't want to put anything you could do this however you want but i just wanted to show you guys this system because i absolutely love the organization of it and i feel like it's super easy to go back and read because i can just look on the side and say like okay i know i learned about the p tag somewhere and i see the p and i'm like oh, okay it's on this page and then i can continue to get a refresher from the notes that i took so now i'm going to show you guys a real example from a course that i'm actually taking um, now and like how I'm taking the notes there so as you can see I have all of these different folders this is what I was talking about I have different ones but this is my studies folder so then I further categorize things and fur further organize things by saying coding note taking so those are like where I would host any like tips that I learned about note taking um, technical writing 3d modeling whatever you're learning about you can further make folders in that overall folder um, about those specific topics so we're going to go into the coding folder and then these are all the different subjects that I wanted to that I've taken notes on or that I wanted to learn about um, and so oops so we're going to go to courses and then the complete boot camp now this is a boot camp that I am taking by Angela Yu I will put it in the description below it is an amazing amazing course I would arguably say it's the best coding course that I've ever taken. I'm sorry if you can hear any like rumbling noises. My neighbor upstairs has a humongous dog and the dog is playing right now. So hopefully that's not picking up on camera. I just wanted to point that out in case it is. Anyway, um, so this is an example of what I learned about intermediate JavaScript. As you can see, I have the topic here, intermediate JavaScript. I wrote the date down and over to the left. These are just things that we covered. So we covered dot push dot pop and to the right I wrote some things about what I wanted to remember about those things to kind of refresh my memory if I need to go and apply it in a project and I'm like oh shoot is that the right thing I need to use I can go back and say okay dot push this is how you use it this is what it's for yes that's something that I can apply to this particular part of the project um, also there was a challenge called FizzBuzz, which I would highly recommend you guys looking into because I've heard a lot of different like companies when they interview you this is something that they might still do is the fizzbuzz challenge i'm not going to go over what that is and what you know all that stuff in this video but i would highly recommend looking into it for just something to learn for interview prep if you've never had an interview before but as you can see there was a challenge and i wanted to capture the code that i created for that challenge so that if i ever had anything that came across like a function that i needed to write in the future that was kind of similar i could go back and kind of refresh my memory on how i may have thought of the logic to create that function so as you can see i have a snippet here which i'll get into how i made in just a second but this is a snippet um, and then i was able to import that into my notes here and then write over it so that's another thing i love about using ipads to take notes is because you can do things like this you can take pictures you can take snippets of things and put them in here and then write over them to like do markdown on them your slides from your if you're in university or you know college whatever you can take the slides and mark on them and have your notes here so i absolutely love that um so the way that i got this snippet was actually using notion so this is where notion is going to come in so i'm going to hop over to a screen recording of notion all right so here is just a blank version of a notion page i'm just going to put example notes as the topic And the thing that I love about Notion for computer science majors or self-studiers like myself is the fact that you can actually write code snippets in these Notion pages. So what you wanna do 
Um, if you're not familiar with how Notion works, first of all, um, I'm going to link a resource in the description below from a YouTuber who explains Notion really, really well. I'll also be talking about Notion a lot more in future videos because I love Notion and I obviously use it a lot. I use it for coded studies, um, personal things. I'm using it for my wedding planner. I'm using it um, for studying, so all of that. But anyway, so what you can do is type backslash and then it comes up with all these different things that you can choose from. You wanna start typing code. So you get a code block here. Now at the very top of this code block, you can choose what language you're coding in. So if I wanted to choose HTML as the language I'm coding in, I just come in here and I literally can start just writing code. Um, oops. And it will highlight the different tags and things as it would in an IDE, for instance, like a um, VS Code or a WebStorm or whatever, Atom, whatever system that you use to write your code in, this will highlight the different tags and different elements the way that that would. So this is a paragraph. Ugh, can't. There. <laughs> can't spell. Um, then, of course, you could come down here and write. We'll do another code block and we'll change this one to JavaScript. Um, obviously, you can type it in there. JavaScript. And let's just say we were creating a function. Um, the only thing that I have to get used to is the fact that, you know, like in VS Code, it kind of like when you put the brackets, it creates the closing bracket for you. This doesn't do that. You have to do every single thing manually. But you can come in here and, you know, create your functions. You can create um, the variables. So um, var output equals, I'm like literally copying it from the notes that I took here. But as you can see, it will create your code for you and color code it the way that it needs to be so from here i will literally just create a screenshot of this and then i'm signed into my notion on my ipad so i can literally just take that screenshot from my photos and you know drop it into good notes and there it is and then i can go in and do markup like i did here just whatever notes that make sense to me that i want to record are there i don't know if you guys can see but my dog just got back in her crate she loves it in there we're trying to wean her off of the crate like get her to not use a crate anymore and when we take it away she's like where's my stuff like so now we just put her in there and she just we just keep the door open because she just likes to sleep in there so nap time okay <laughs> that's gonna do it for this video guys thank you so much for watching i am super excited to be here i love filming for you guys hopefully we can do this every single monday in 2023 um let me know if this video helped did you get anything that you can apply to your systems that you've created do you have a system let me know in the comments below what you've been doing um as far as your study sessions go maybe you can teach me a new system or it can help someone else i highly suggest if anything that you take away from this video is to find what works for you google what different learning styles there are are you visual are you audio there's different types of learning styles figure out which one you gravitate more towards and try to create your systems based off of things that would be very beneficial for those learning styles so again this is super simple um, but it works for me i like to be minimal and create as less chaos as i can coding learning how to code in itself is already crazy enough so having a very simple system is just my style so yeah that's gonna do it i will see you guys in my next video thank you so very much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up so that the algorithm knows we can help other people and be sure to subscribe if you are into content on tech self-learning self-discovery and productivity that's what i love to talk about on this channel so until next time i will see you guys in the next video